Doncic, I, I noticed the tape on the wrist, or at least the bandaging, is a little different yeah. than what we saw pregame. That one's blocked. And on the move, the Spurs, Derek White running the break. Forbes steps into the slot for three, and he's got it. And the Spurs tighten up defensively. Well, this is why you love when you have Aldridge back in the lineup, a rim protector able to initiate the fast break, and Forbes finding the open slot. And the knees run easy, too. Derek White. And now DeJounte Murray elevated into that starting lineup. Aldridge catches a deep little turnaround. Jumper is good. Averaging 28 and a half a game. He's also top five in assists. White losing the handle. Courtney Lee all over him. Aldridge, good catch and finish. White was patient. And Aldridge breaks to the rim. The ball is in his hands to make decisions, to also influence the defense to his side, and then he can make play to his defense, so he's thrived in that. How high you climb on that ladder could pay dividends come playoff time when you're dealing with the Clippers and the Lakers yep. as Aldridge scores inside. Coming off his first bucket of this second quarter. Mavs had an 11-point lead, and Aldridge knocks it down. So the Spurs now within three. On the three, it's an 11-1 run. Biggest lead for Dallas. Rosen met by Doncic. Aldridge backing down for Zingas. And White for three. There's an answer the Spurs needed. Got to get one up here. Off in time. And Aldridge with the rebound. Yeah, but Courtney Lee has to stay spread. He began to come in, and that could have been a pass shot for him on the wing from Porzingis. Lyles finds Aldridge wide open. You can see the go-to plays of the Spurs are kind of get Rudy Gay inside the lane and also DeRozan. Boban working on Aldridge and a strip down by Aldridge. Well, it just, it's funny how the ebbs and flows of the game can change. You just got to give yourself like the Spurs have done to stay within shouting distance in order to make a run of your own like now. Well, after further review of LaMarcus Aldridge, the uh, discomfort will be momentary and fleeting, but ouch. Doncic has White on him. Looking for someone. Kleba and Aldridge again. Spurs have put 38 points on the board. And they lead by six. Bellinelli hunting for Aldridge. Kleba's on him. Aldridge springs free and a foul. And one for LaMarcus Aldridge. And, you know, I understand why Kleba is upset, too, because on the weak side of the court, you have Keldon Johnson and also Rudy Gable, not known to be knocked down three-point shooters, and everybody's just watching, okay? But Porzingis, but could not give up easy layup inside. Lyles looking for Aldridge. He's got Porzingis pinned and scores. LaMarcus Aldridge got Porzingis deep. Aldridge out of bounds underneath the basket. He would have been out of the way of the play altogether. Approaching the three-minute mark. Aldridge, shot fake, goes up with it now. Porzingis right in his face, and Aldridge sticks the two. Porzingis throws it off Lyles. Shot clock ticks. Porzingis doesn't run the ball down. And now the Spurs with a great chance. Aldridge running the floor. Boy, what was Porzingis thinking there? A giveaway, and the Spurs are up and loud at the AT&T Center. After the play, mm. San Antonio able to capitalize off it with Aldridge right down the middle. See, run in the playoffs. They have just one win when they're trailing in the last four minutes, and that came last Wednesday against New Orleans. Aldridge for three. What a quarter. He's got 11 in the quarter. LaMarcus Aldridge sends the Spurs up 12. Timeout on the floor. Marcus Aldridge missing six games with a shoulder injury. Jimmy back in a big way tonight against the Mavericks. Well, it's good to see employee number 12 back on the floor for a number of reasons. Of course, his ability to put the ball on the deck, to shoot it, to score, to knock down perimeter jump shots.